Hi everybody, happy Monday. Welcome to another one of Nano Girls Live Science. Science? What are we? What are we doing? We're doing live streams. Live stream, science live streams. I forgot where I was. It's been such a long week of lockdown already. But it's Monday. Hopefully you've had some online school today. And we're going to do two gravity science experiments. Are you excited? So before we get started, make sure you've got all of your equipment. Now the equipment's a little bit complicated today, so I'm going to show you early, so if you want a grown-up to help you, then they can do that. So one of the ingredients for the equipment was a bucket. Now a small bucket would be helpful. If you have a bucket, you're going to need some strong rope to hang this bucket from. But I don't have space to swing a bucket, so there's a way that you can make a smaller bucket. And so if you have a grown-up around and you want to do a smaller version, you're going to need to find an empty plastic bottle. I went into our recycle bin today and I found this empty bottle. I cut the top off and I put two holes, just using my scissors, a grown-up has to do this, it's very dangerous, two holes in the side. If you can do that and grab some string, you'll be ready for the second experiment. While you're grabbing that, let's take a look at some of the videos that you've sent in from last week's sound experiments and all the other experiments that we did last week. Let's take a look. We're doing a sound experiment with an ukulele. I'm sure parents that you loved all of the sound making machines over the weekend. Thank you so much for sending them in. Remember, if you want to send us a video of any of the experiments that you have done, you can send them here. It's videos at nanogirllabs.com. Keep your videos less than 60 seconds. Maybe we'll show them on here tomorrow. It's time for some shout outs. The way that this works if you're new here is if you are on Facebook, get your grown up to put your name and the shout out that they want, especially if it's your first time here, let me know and we will give you a shout out. Sorry if you're watching on YouTube, it doesn't let us do this on YouTube, it's a Facebook only thing, but let's do some shout outs. Who do we have watching today? We have Greta Carter, Emmy, and they're super excited for this one. Hi, how are you? Good evening from Ruby. Hi Ruby D. Hey. We have Porushi from Ormiston Primary. Hi. Who else do we have? We have Scarlett Delilah from Fairhaven School. You rock, Nanago. You rock too. Hi from Isla in Okaho. Oh, you're back again. Thanks so much for showing your video last week. It was a great video. Thank you. Hi, Nanago from Finlay in Rotorua. Hey, Finlay. Kate, Luke, and Ollie in Tauranga. Hi. Who else do we have? One more. One more shout out. And then we're going to get on with our experiment. We have Molly and Alex in Auckland. Hey, Molly and Alex in Auckland. Oh, one more. Isabella and Neva from Napier. Hi. Everybody in Auckland. I don't know about you, but it's pouring down outside in Nano Girls Lab right now. So one of these experiments is an outdoor experiment and we might not be taking it outdoors today. Oh, Josiah and Zach from New Plymouth are excited to watch. Hi from New Plymouth. Nice to see you. We are here. Just so you know, Nana Girls Lab is in Auckland. So if you do hear the rain pouring, it's because it's very wet in Auckland today. So we're going to do two experiments today and they're going to teach us about gravity. The first experiment, you're going to need to grab a small glass and some card and your card is going to need to be just slightly bigger so grab some scissors if your card is too big I've just got a cereal card here get some scissors and make sure that the card is slightly just slightly wider than the mouth of your glass okay and then you're going to need a jug of water now because I'm not over my kitchen sink today and this might go terribly wrong um, because sometimes experiments they don't always go to plan I have a small dish here that is going to protect me if you're going to do this live with me at home and you are not over the kitchen sink or the bathtub then make sure you put something underneath to catch the water if this doesn't work so I've just got a little dish here glass piece of card cut to size so it's slightly wider than the mouth of your glass 
and you're going to need some water. I've got some water in a jug there. Okay, go grab all of your ingredients because today we're talking about something called gravity. You may have heard of gravity before. Gravity is a pulling force that works all across space. It's the reason why we don't float away into space because gravity pulls us down towards the earth. You may know this, if you've ever jumped up high, you don't float away. Eventually you come back down and you come back down because gravity is pulling you down. So we're going to show you an experiment that gives you anti-gravity powers. In fact, both of our experiments today are going to be anti-gravity powers. So if you take some water and you pour it, what do you think is going to happen? Which way do you think the water is going to go? Up towards the sky or down towards the ground? What do you think? Well, I think let's try an experiment. Ooh, and it goes down towards the ground. Why? Because gravity is pulling it down. Now we know this is going to work, so how about anti-gravity? Well, we're going to use two different forces here. We're going to use something called air pressure and surface tension to help us overcome the force of gravity. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take your glass and carefully fill it up. Good job. Down. All the guesses say down. Well, we're going to see what happens with this experiment when we do the water. So I want you to fill your glass up. Now when you get close to the top, I want you to be really careful and fill it slowly, but go right to the top. Don't let it flow all the way over, but go as high as you can without it overflowing. Okay, that's pretty high. So you can see it's not overflowed, but it's really, really high. Next, what we're going to do is you're going to take your card. Have you had time to cut it out yet? Have you had time to cut it out? I'll tell you what, I'll give you another minute to cut it out. Make sure it's slightly bigger than this, um, than the roof of your mouth while we're waiting for it to do. Do we have any shout outs? Just so I give you a little bit more time to cut things out. Let's take a look. Any more shout outs? We do. Olive and Lily would love to say hello. Hello from Nano Girl to Olive and Lily. Hi from Elliot and Hannah in Crofton Downs Primary School. Hi. Hi from Miller in Browns Bay. Miller, hi. Hi, Nana Girl from Daphne and Mac from Palmerston North. It's your first time. Welcome. We're going to be here every day at 3.30, every day of lockdown. So keep joining us. Hi from Laura Lee and Emily in Rotorua. Another group from Rotorua. Okay, hi from Elliot, Archie and Charlie. We watch every day and we love it. I love that you're here too. Thank you so much for watching. Right, we're going to go back to our experiment. So we know that when you pour water upside down out of this jug, it goes down. So... What we're going to do is see what happens when we put the cardboard on top. So I'm going to put my cardboard on top. Now you have to be very careful. Make sure you're over a basin. I want you to put pressure on your fingertips so that you're holding the card. And then I want you to gently turn your glass over like so. Now you'll still have your fingertips underneath. And I want you to think, what is going to happen when you let go of the card? What do you think is going to happen when you let go of the card? Do you think all of the water is going to go glug, 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 glug out of the glass and the card is going to fall off? What do you think? Well, when you're ready and make sure you're over something that can catch the water, if it pours out, I want you to let go of the paper, but hold on to the glass. Are you ready? Do, 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 do. <gasps> Look! It's stuck! You can see that the card is holding up the water. Okay, before it goes horribly wrong, put your hand back under and turn it under. We'll get out of the danger zone. Ooh. And just to show you, we didn't stick it down. I'm very, very wet now. So what was going on there? Did yours work? I tell you what, why don't I show you a video and then we can talk about what happened and I'll go dry my hands. Let's have a look at this next video. Who do we have? Hi, I'm Bella. And I'm Frankie. And today we're going to be teaching you how to make the witch's cauldron experiment. So let's get right into it. First things first, you're going to get some fairy liquid, or you might know it as dish soap, and you're going to pour it all in to your um, cauldron, or you can just use a normal bowl. But it is super cool experiment, and I highly recommend it. So, that's good. Okay, now you're going to use some vinegar. We used white rice vinegar, but you don't need to. You can use whatever vinegar you want. 
and you're just going to pour that all over where it needs to be poured in the thing, in the cauldron. Last thing last, you're going, you're going to get some baking powder and you're going to put all of that in to the witch's cauldron. Stir it up and ta-da, it looks amazing. You almost want <laughs> to eat <laughs> it. Oh no, don't eat it, it'll taste disgusting. It was Bella and Frankie all the way from the UK. That's a long way to come. Thank you for watching our show. We love your experiments. So, was that amazing? Did you go, whoa, it was so cool. Let's talk a little bit about the science behind how that happened. So, remember last week when we were talking about boats, we talked about something called surface tension. So surface tension is also happening here. When you stick your card on top of that water, because the water's at the top, you get surface tension sticking it on. <coughs> oh, your board fell. That's okay. You can try it again with a new piece of card. I'll show you. Make sure that your card is stiff enough. Um, stiff enough. And then I'm going to show you again. Don't be sad. Honestly, when it doesn't work, it's a great way for scientists to keep learning. So <clears throat> I'm going to try it again. Make sure your card is stiff enough. Turn it upside down. You'll also see that there's a little bit of air under here. Now this air is under lower pressure. So what's happening is the air pressure from around wants to get into the glass. And as it tries to force its way in, it's trying to push through the card, which is pushing it up, which is one way that the card is staying up. And the other way that the card is not sliding around is because the surface tension is holding it still. If your card slides around, if you don't have enough surface tension or if you don't, if you have too much air in your glass, then it's not going to work, but that's okay. Just make sure you fill it all the way up to the top. Make sure your card is stiff and all the way around before it happens. And then it goes just to show you that it definitely works. If I pull on this a little bit, whoo, made a total mess. And there you go. So this is why you need a basin underneath. Yay, science. I know, yay, science. Messy science, but it doesn't matter. It's only water. Just make sure you do this at home somewhere that you're either in front of a bathtub. Yours worked from journey. Yay. I got wet when it fell. I just got wet too, but that's fun of science. Isn't it fun? Just make sure you're somewhere that it doesn't matter that it gets wet. Okay, we're going <laughs> to... Sophie Rose is currently doing the experiment with me. We're going to do another experiment. Now, this experiment you should not do at home inside you should definitely do this outside and if you're in Auckland right now like me and it's raining maybe just wait until it's not raining or maybe go outside with an umbrella and show me how you do so for the next experiment you're either going to need a bucket with a piece of rope tied onto the top and some very strong arms or like I said I am just going to make one I'm going to move this out of the way I'm just going to make one out of a little bit of a bottle, an empty bottle that I have. And I'm gonna take some string and the string is probably gonna be twice the length of my arm. That's how I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut my string up. Ooh, I feel like I'm in a swimming pool today. I probably should have brought a towel with me, but that's okay, it's only water, don't worry. Danny's work so cool. And remember, if it doesn't work first time, that's okay. That's what science is about. Sometimes you just have to think, well, why didn't it work? What can we change and what can we do differently? Failing in science is what happens all the time. As a scientist, my experiments go wrong all the time. And every time it does, I learn something new. And that's the great thing about science. So I'm gonna create a little handle by putting my string through those two holes that we made and then tying it at the top. So now I've made a handle in my little bucket. So if you don't have a bucket, don't worry, you can make one. Get your grown up to help you put some holes in the side of a bottle that's been cut in half so that you can put some water in here. Two levitating water experiments, you are most welcome. And again, if it didn't work, don't worry about it. It's totally fine, that's part of science. Shout out to Jamie from Monterey, Auckland. Hi, Jamie. Okay, so you can see I've made a little baby bucket here, or you can do a big bucket and tie the rope to the handle. You wanna be able to swing it like this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our little bucket and I'm gonna pour some water into my little bucket or my little cup. Okay, I'll let you catch up for this. We're gonna to go to another video. Let's, let's take a look at Skylar. Skylar has made us the most amazing video. Today, guys, I'm gonna show you how to make a trampoline. Hang on, mate. Ah. I'll tell you when you're ready to go.
now. Okay, go. A balloon and a jar. Ping pong. Ball and marble. Nope. Gonna cut it. Well, it's the every shit in the jar. Mine's down to rupture. Okay. <laughs> Skylar, that was the most amazing video. You had all the Nano Girl stuff too. I see secretly that you also had a Nano Girl ping pong ball. Those are so rare. I have a secret one under my table here. And you have one too. And you had a cookbook. You had all the things. Thank you so much for posting that video. I thought that was super cool. I'm going to go bounce on a trampoline. Wish I could do that now, but it's... It's wet and rainy outside. Shout out to Jack and Asher in Mongaroy Bridge. We got wet. <laughs> I got wet too. But then we got it to work and it's all about trying things again and again. Can I have a shout out from Journey? Hi, how are you Journey? So have you got your little bucket here and your little bit of water? Ariana, Nicolo, Daniela, say hi from Gisborne. First time watching. Welcome all the way from Gizzy. We love Gizzy. Oh, if only we could keep traveling and head to Gisborne. Okay. So I've got my little bucket here. I'm just going to show you that inside it's definitely got water in it. And if I turn that upside down, the water will pour out. And we know it will pour out because of the force called gravity. Good job. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a dangerous experiment. Now don't do this inside because if this goes wrong, everything's going to get wet and I'm going to get in trouble. So promise me, Pinky, promise that you're going to do this outside instead. And it can be as big or as small as you like. This is my small one. This is my big bucket one. If I had a big piece of rope and strong arms, I could do this too. Okay, so shall we, I tell you what, while, while we're building up the sense of adventure, why don't you do a Nana Girl joke? Take a look at this joke. What do you think is the answer? Here we go. Nana Girl's joke of the day is, what is the center of gravity? Remember, we're talking about gravity today. What do you think the center of gravity is? <gasps> it's a stupid joke. It's the letter V. I'm a gravity. Gravity. It's the center of the word gravity. I know, not funny. If you've got a better gravity joke, please send them through. Yours are probably way funnier than mine. Okay, so. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna stand up for this one because I'm gonna need a little bit of space. And we're gonna swing this. Now, normally, if you turn this upside down, remember the water's gonna pour out. But we're gonna create this force. It's called centripetal force. Centripetal force is a spinning force. Sophia McKenzie and Coda are watching for the first time in Christchurch. Hi, welcome to the show. So what I want you to do is hold on to this super tight. We're gonna swing, swing, swing swing and eventually i'm going to swing it so fast that it's going to swing around in a circle now if it swings around in a circle at some point this is going to turn upside down and well we know that when we turn it upside down the water's going to fall out but if you swing it in a circle fast enough you might create enough centripetal force to actually keep it in there because that centripetal force will be so strong it will overcome the force of gravity and you won't get wet. But if you don't swing it fast enough, you will get wet and everything else will get wet around you. So do this outside, don't do this inside, but I'm gonna show you now do, 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 how it works. Okay, ready? I've gotta commit. The second you think about it is the second it all goes horribly wrong. So I'm just gonna spin it around in a circle. Let's see if we get wet. One, two, three. Ah! Woohoo! I'll do it again, ready? Okay, so as long as it spins fast enough and you create enough centripetal force, then you can overcome the force of gravity. That's a super fun one. You can do it with a gigantic bucket and swing it around on some rope if you're super strong. I've just got my little one. Go outside and do this. Don't do this at home because you will get very, very wet. We want to show me doing that. Don't forget, send your videos into videos at nanogirllabs.com and maybe we'll show your video tomorrow. So those are our two gravity experiments today. I feel like I'm very wet already, but I have a video that's come in that is all about being sticky and sweet. And that has come in from Deborah. Let's take a look at Deborah's video. Hi everyone. We're going to be making honeycomb from Nano Girls Kitchen Science Cookbook. 
We're going to put the sugar and honey into the pot. So we've been boiling this and now it's all melted and we are ready for the next step. So we're adding in the baking soda and this will make a chemical reaction. And just a little bit more. It's nice and hard now and ready for us to eat. Thumbs up, yummy, that looks super yummy. That's super yummy honeycomb. That's from the Kitchen Science Cookbook. If you don't have a copy of the Kitchen Science Cookbook yet, you can grab it from great bookstores, or if you're in New Zealand, you can watch that recipe on my TV show. It's called Kitchen Science. It's on TVNZ On Demand. There's two series there. You can do lots of cooking and learn about the science of honeycomb. Okay, joke, joke, joke. What does Dios the Galaxy say when her kids are interrupting her? What did you say, Renee? <laughs> Give me some space. That's way better than my gravity joke. Thank you so much. Now, while we're thinking about gravity, remember gravity pulls us down to the ground. We could maybe come up with some cool experiments that you could do with gravity. If you have a ball or a marble, for example, maybe grab some tubes and you can cut them in half and create, create a marble run. Maybe you put them all together, take them all together and see whether or not you can get your ball ooh, to go down in different ways because you know that every time it goes down it's because gravity pulls it up. Now maybe you could construct a marble run where it goes down so fast that maybe you could get it to overcome gravity and scoop back up. Do you think you could do a marble run? That's something you could be building at home if you want. Just get some empty tubes or you can make some cardboard squares and make a little marble run or I have a ping pong ball I don't have a marble but whatever you've got you could do that. Also, let's think about gravity if you were to imagine going to space. Imagine you were going to space. What planet would you go to? Well, with different planets, gravity affects you in different ways. And so you might walk really heavily or you might bounce really lightly if you were on the moon. Why don't you imagine you're on a different planet? and think about how you might walk. And then show me a video maybe of you walking on a different planet and tell me what planet or moon that might be. There's lots of ways you can think about how gravity is affecting us. In fact, I think it's time for a bit of a quiz, a gravity quiz. Shall we test your gravity knowledge? All right, here we go. We've got three questions coming up. They're true or false. Let's have a guess. True or false, if I weighed 60 kilos on Earth, I would weigh 152 kilos on Jupiter. <laughs> that is so true. And you can look up how you weigh different amounts on different planets if you just go online and look up what do I weigh on different planets. Okay, next question. What is the next question? It is a gravity question. Sir Robert Carlton discovered and named the force of gravity. True or false? What do you think? Who do you think it is? No, you all know this, Sir Isaac Newton. He discovered both and named the force of gravity and an apple fell on his head. True or false, planets are always round because the force of gravity pulls the planets mass closer together. Is that why they're round? Have you noticed that all planets are round? Is that weird? And the answer is true. Gravity pulls equally on the mass from all sides, which gives it a sphere shape. A sphere is what we call a three-dimensional circle. Pretty cool, hey? So those are our gravity experiments today. Remember, if you want to do the swinging one centripetal force, take it outside because it's going to get very wet if it goes horribly wrong. Also, as you're thinking about centripetal force, you might think about it in a different way. If you've ever ridden a bicycle before, you may know that when you ride your bicycle, if your wheels aren't spinning, you fall off. But when your wheels are spinning, you're really stable. And that's centripetal force. You create centripetal force every time you spin your wheels and that force keeps you stable. So centripetal force is used in lots of places that you might not even realize. 
So remember, tomorrow we're going to be back with a brand new set of experiments. And the experiments tomorrow, we're going to be doing catapults. If you like launching things far away with the least amount of effort, then we're going to do catapults tomorrow and it's going to be so much fun. How about before I go, we do a few little shout outs. Have we got anybody else who wants to say hi before I say bye? Let's take a look. Who do we have? We have Zara and Harry in Auckland. Hi. Hi from Latana and Bagatti from Naka. Na, sorry, Nati Kahu. I need better eyes. My screen is very small. Okay, turn that frown upside down. Connor in Red Beach from the Walk to Girls in Orima. Hi. Hi from Ava from Auckland. We love you, Nana Girl. I love you guys too. Shout out to Gabrielle Herbert from Auckland. Shout out to Ben and Charlie in Waterloo. Our friend Gus did this on stage with you before lockdown. Yay, when we used to do stuff on stage. Sorry, lockdown means that we're stuck behind a camera right now. Hi from Maddie, love watching Nano Girl. If this is your first time watching us too, this is how it works. Every day we do a different set of experiments. Hi Nano Girl from Jericho and Roy from Auckland. And all you need to do is look up the ingredients before you come or you can watch the live stream later and do it later on really simple hey so welcome to all of our new followers today we do this every weekday at 3 30 during lockdown thanks nano girl from ava i will be here tomorrow from auckland yay ava okay well hopefully i will see you all tomorrow don't forget we've got catapults tomorrow we're going to be launching some cool stuff keep an eye on our facebook page to look at what equipment you will need hello from zara she's done every activity this lockdown with you zara that's so amazing we're going to be here every day of lockdown. So there's a couple more weeks left, it looks like. So don't worry, we've got lots of experiments to do. Hi from Jack and Mac Pay. Hi. Uh, hi, Nana Girl from Connor. I'm going to go. I'm going to get ready for my catapult experiments tomorrow. Send me your videos. Let me know how you're going. I'm so excited to see you again tomorrow. Take care.